this up, you guys. I got two baby monitors to show you. They are the coolest, most beautiful lizards I've probably ever owned. Um, this one right here that's poking its little head out of the cork tube right there is a new baby peach throat. Yes, you guys, another baby peach throat. I saw this little baby in Daytona at the Reptile Expo, and something about it just, I, was, I had already passed like seven or eight of them, and they were cool when I looked at them all, but something about this little baby was like calling my name. And I got it out and I held it, and once that happened, it did not go back in the tub. It came with me. So, this is baby Iris. I want to show you guys the two baby monitors I got in this video. Um, this is just an imported baby, of course, just like with most of the other babies in the United States right now that are available. Um, I just want to give you guys a cool, close look at how beautiful this thing's colors are and how interactive it is. It's such a young baby. Ever since I got it, it's been tom feeding, no problem. We've been having an awesome experience. I love this little lizard. So let me grab some food and let's feed it really quick. lightning fast. You see that it was timing it, sitting there watching when I was juking around so it could steal it without having to come on my hand. They're so smart, it's ridiculous. Quite ridiculous. Munching down the egg right now. Alright, we're going to get them on this next chunk, alright? Let's see if we can get them out on the arm. I know I can get them out on my arm because he comes out on me all the time. Oh! Mark my words! made a fool out of me. Holy quickness. This lizard is probably one of the fastest baby lizards I've also ever had. It runs around the enclosure so crazily attacking crickets. It's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, you got a mouthful of egg right now. I bet you're wondering what the heck is going on. You can barely breathe with all that egg in your mouth. This thing's a little dinosaur. It's just chomping away. Come on. Come on, you're too quick for me, I swear. Slow it down a notch. Look at that thing. It's got a mouthful of egg. Doesn't even know what to do. Come on. Come on, Iris, you're okay. Testing the boundaries, testing the water. Hey, hey! That's my knuckle, you butthead. Right here. Come on. Look at that little dinosaur, you guys. This has got to be one of the most colorful baby peach thirds I've ever had. I mean, its tail is blue all the way up to its hind legs. And the coloration on its back is like a silverish turquoise. It is absolutely fantastic. Come on, little one. It's trying to juke me out. I ain't going to let it win this time. Come on. You already had a taste of my knuckle. You want a knuckle sandwich? No, no more knuckle sandwiches. Come on. Oh, you guys, this is ridiculous. How am I getting outsmarted by this little thing? Oh my God, it's so quick. I can't give it any more egg. That's too much protein and cholesterol at one time. So at least it came out of the cork tube enough. I'll insert some pictures and some clips so you can see how beautiful this little thing is. But I just wanted to show you my two baby monitors wanted to keep this video a little bit shorter. You can see it's still such a little baby that it chomping on my little knuckle didn't even really break skin much. I love this little lizard. It is so beautiful. One of the most unique patterns, unique colors I've ever seen on the Jopiensis. It is a blessing that I've been able to acquire this thing. So let's move on to the next monitor. That was Iris, the new peach throat monitor. Who outsmarts me and is very fast. <laughs> Fast boy, I'm fast boy.
That's my holy grail lizard. This is in my top three of top threes. Yellow tree monitor. Moranus residuary, 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 however you want to say it. Yellow tree monitor. From the one and only Brian Sussman of Sundown Reptiles. OG tree monitor breeder. I'm so stoked. I got this thing in Daytona. Was able to link up with Brian there. See this monitor in the flesh. And then after I got this beautiful enclosure set up two weeks later, he was able to ship it down to me. Had it for two months now, a little over two months. Monitor is doing absolutely solid. I cannot complain one bit. We have already been bonding. It comes out to food, will crawl all over me. It loves chin rubs more than any lizard I have ever had in my life. If you guys are following the Instagram, Hail the Scales, please go check out one of my latest videos with Letty. That's her name, his name. We don't know the sex yet. But I'm rubbing its chin and it is just loving every minute of it. Totally chilling out. That was after I lubered it out of the cage with a cricket onto my arm and then it crawled around and then it just sits there and at that point lets me just hang out with it, which is the coolest experience ever because there's nothing that beats getting a dream lizard and then being able to bond with it. It is, words can't describe it, you guys. Let me grab some food really quick. Let's see if we can get Letty out here. Get you a closer look at this butte. Letty, you want some egg? Okay, I got to steal the whole piece. That's okay. You can do whatever you want. Seriously, the most gentle little lizard ever. Don't that other little piece. All right, now we can get her out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't know if you can see how beautiful that pattern is on the side of its neck. Oh my lord, these lizards are one of the most beautiful lizards ever created by Mother Nature. It's seriously insane. Come on, little thing. I don't know, she's not feeling the... She's not feeling it enough to come out for the for the quail leg, I guess. I might have to get a cricket. Let's get a cricket out so you guys can get a closer look. So she jumped straight onto my croc almost and then crawled right back up me. Oh, and now we're pooping on my head. All right. I can't see where you're at, Letty. I just know you're on my head. Yeah, guys, so. I don't know if I'm giving you a good view, but this is Letty. Let me see, there we go. Now I can see somewhat of a reflection. This is the yellow tree monitor, you guys. Look how awesome she is. He is, whatever the sex may be. I just don't want it to jump to the floor again. Oh, there we go. Now I can see where you're at. How beautiful of a lizard is that, you guys? Look at those intricate colors and pattern with those just like golden copper brownish bronze eyes. It's just such a great contrast. Such a beautiful little lizard. 
I mean, unreal. It, um, you could take the experience of her just jumping off of me as, oh my God, your lizard's scared of you, but actually she trusts me enough that I was her tree. And as soon as she did jump off of me, she hit the ground and ran up my leg and up my body because she realizes that I'm a tall safe point in the room that we are in right now. So that is actually a really good sign. So look into that action a little bit more than she just jumped off of me because that behavior that was just displayed was a completely different action than what it may have seemed. But this little lizard is so awesome and trusting. Obviously it's a little spun up right now because it just jumped out. But there we go. Oh, 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 oh. You're okay, you're okay. It's able to decipher what's going on pretty quickly and it doesn't just completely go into flight mode and freak out mode, you know? It obviously wants to jump around and move around, but I'm able to somewhat contain it. So for being a baby lizard, that is pretty awesome. We got a lot of work to do with this thing for, with a lot of time. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's trying to jump back in its enclosure right now. You're okay, you're okay, Letty, you're okay. You're okay, Letty. Absolutely just gorgeous. You know, I, I don't, obviously I'm not restraining this lizard at all, but I try to not restrain any of these lizards just to give them the trust that they can walk on me and do whatever they want and I'm not going to grab them. So just the very, very light pressure of my thumb to contain the next movement, which I mean the lightest pressure possible. And um, she's getting a little flighty. She wants to get back in her enclosure, which is okay. It's totally natural. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Just wanted to give you guys an awesome look at these new little lizards. Look, she just wants to straight back. Oh, she just wants that high, a high point, actually. She wants to be at a high vantage point where she feels safe. Oh, lady. You're okay. Look at those beautiful colors, you guys. This is just a dream species for me. Can't believe that it actually happened finally. What a beautiful lizard. I already know she's gonna try to jump back in here again. There she goes. Beautiful little lizard. How awesome is that? Well, with monitor poop on my head and Mia showing off the two new lizards, I think we're gonna call that a video, you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed checking out the new lizards. I'll insert some pictures of both of them at the end of the video so you can get better looks. But if you follow Peach Throat Passion, my new Instagram page, fully dedicated to Jobiensis, the Peach Throat Monitor, which you need to be given a follow so you can hang out with the whole squad of Peach Throats and keep up with everybody. Um, other than that, keep up with us on the Instagram, Hail the Scales, got Letty on there, all the Barons, all the Poplin carpets. Hit me up, DM me, let me know if you guys want to see some more videos. I'll see you in the next one.